cold, baby girl. What are you doing? <laughs> Can't do that, baby. All right, hold on. Wait. All right, go ahead. You all right? She's all right. All right, everybody, welcome to the video. Uh, we just pulled in here. This looks like a good spot. I'll show you around. Let me get set up. I got to get my awning out and get everything situated, and I'll bring you guys back in a little bit. Stop, 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 stop moving. Careful, baby girl. All right, what I got for you guys today is uh, we're out of the camp, and you know what? Why don't I just show you? Let me get Sierra on a leash and I'll walk you guys around. All right, guys, I got Sierra on a leash. First, let me show you this. We're here by a little creek. Check it out. Sierra's wrapping all around me. Look, see the pain in the butt on a leash. Pretty neat, but that's not the coolest part. Let me show you around a little bit. Got a little fire pit here. There's my truck. Seen that earlier. It's all set up. A little view of our site. Nice. Sarah, go. Come on, go, go. But this is a little closed down church. It's an old Mennonite church. It was built the year 1900. Somebody owns this property and I found it on Hipcamp. Trespassing, video surveillance. Look at that. Please check your guns at the door. <laughs> I don't think you can get in here. I'm not gonna try. You're probably not allowed. Look at this thing. It's old. The grass could have been mowed. But still. Look at this thing. Back behind here. This is so old. They're right off the road here, but it's nice. This is cool. It's a nice little secluded spot. There's another little door. Let's see if we can see in there. Yeah, there's really nothing going on in there. Try to get in there. Really all you can probably see is me. But yeah, the cool thing here is there's a little cemetery back here. Wow, let's look at some of the years. Stay baby girl. I wish the grass was cut better. Bardell, Catherine and Charles, 1871 to 1908, 1867 to 1927, rest in peace. There's a little, some little markers here. I'm not sure if they're, I, um, I guess they're tombstones. Oh yeah, infant, aw. Oh. Son of, I can't really read it. I don't want to mess with them. I don't want to touch them. This is infant on it. Poor little baby. There's another one, infant. This one doesn't say anything. It says mother miser. Oh, it's kind of hard to read. Uh, it's really worn out. 1890, died in 1890. 
April 10th, 1890. Wow. Here we got Duncan Miser. Oh, this is fairly recent. Howard, 1922 to 2011. That's only 13 years ago. And Verna, 1892 to 1969. Rest in peace. Come on, Sierra. Yeah, you might think I'm weird wanting to camp at a cemetery, but I don't think it's weird at all. I think it's actually really neat. Mm, these look like fresh flowers somebody put out here. Here we go, settle. Schaefer. Schaefer, Mildred, 1906. Now she must still be alive. I don't know, there's no date of death. And Paul, 1901 to 1959. Looks like somebody recently put flowers up there. There's some more old ones. Baby girl, be careful. It's hard to read. Burner, 1927. Can't read the other year. Elwood, 1900. Well, wow, that's old. So there's a few. There's another one. Let me get this one too. I don't want to leave anybody out. Showers, Bertha. And A. Schuler, born March 29th, 1985, died January 17th, 1954. And A. Schuler, born July 7th, 1881, and died December 3rd, 1954. So they died within 12 months of each other. Rest in peace. All right, so I think that's about it. That's it for the tombstones, the headstones. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm not sure exactly how many. A couple of babies. So that's sad. There's somewhat of a outhouse. I'm not sure how far I can go. I guess I can go to the edge here. It's, they said it's an acre. I guess it's about an acre. This isn't much of a bathroom. They said it had a composting toilet, but I went in here earlier and it's 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 literally just a hole in the floor. <laughs> a hole. It goes straight to the ground. That's all right. It's a place to go. Pretty cool. Wish we could go in, but it's probably not even safe in there anyway. What's over here? I think I'll look under there. Ooh, I just heard something. That already freaked me out. Oh, it's just a hole that goes under the under the building. Come on, baby girl. Over here. Good girl. Fuel tank. A little access under there. Yes, yeah, see. There's no way I'm letting Sierra off her leash because if she went under there, I man, I sure as heck ain't climbing under there. That's for darn sure. Somebody eyeballing me. Must be wanting to come here to fish or something. I paid for this place, guys. I had two young men walk by here earlier. They asked if they could get into the creek right here. Yeah, I don't care. I, I, I'm fine with that. Just don't fish right in front of me. I rented this place. They were nice. They were, they were nice and polite. Let's walk over here. Come on, baby girl. There she is. Yeah. Got another surprise for you guys. I got my fishing license. We're gonna do some fishing then. Oh yeah, check this place out. Nice creek. Over here's where they walked in. Yeah, she could take a walk down in there and get in the water. Got this little table here. Pretty nice. Look a down tree. Parts of a tree. Cool. Those guys. Oh, they were teenagers. They went walking down that way. They're gone. They might come back later, I guess, to get out. All right, so anyway. All right, I think what we're going to do now is uh, I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to check that out. <laughs> anyway, I think what I'm going to do is maybe make a cup of coffee. I'll bring you guys back then. GoPro, stop recording. GoPro, stop recording. Yeah, I was going to go make this coffee over here by the creek, but... It's raining a little bit, so we're just gonna do it right here. Let's uh, get this fired up. 
Baby girl's right there. So, yeah, before I uh, came out here, I wanted to get my fishing license. I haven't fished in over 20 years, like probably 25 years, honestly. Ooh, that's more than I feel that. Uh, probably only 25 years. And uh, I forgot to freaking get my fishing license when I was at home. I told I told Pam last night, I said, I'll just get it in the morning, you know, before I leave, I'll get on the laptop and get it. And uh, I forgot, luckily I had a good enough cell phone signal here to be able to get it online so I did it with my phone so I have it so I'm legal got my trout stamp and uh, I just got a real cheap rod and uh, a couple a couple uh, rooster tails and some other bait but I forgot sinkers so I really can't just throw it out there I mean I guess I could I don't know we'll see we'll see what happens I don't know what I'm doing I'm not gonna keep anything I'm just gonna see what happens and, uh, I think this is the place we're gonna come in July as long as everything works out so far, so good. You know, it's 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 pretty neat. Pretty neat. The little church, the uh, the little cemetery over there. Cool place. It, it's a little it's a little busy to uh, let Sierra off her leash. Plus that that church has some openings, and I don't want her going underneath that building, man. Knowing her, she wouldn't come back out, and I don't want to have to crawl in there. That would suck. But, yeah, so far so good, man. Ugh. No issues, it was about an hour and a half drive to get here. So, well, that's already ripping. That stove, that, that stove and kettle is awesome. That's fire maple. No, if they didn't send it to me, I paid for it. We're just gonna do some instant coffee right now. And then uh, eventually we'll get to cooking. I do wanna, you know, hook up my rod here and throw it in there and just see what happens. It's a pretty strong current though, so. You know, I don't know what's going to happen. We'll see. Oh, that's already done. It's already boiling, baby. That cool down. Little French vanilla. Put some of that in there. I get something dirty that you don't have to, right? Oh man, what was that? What was it? Hang on, guys. Hang on. Something flew in here and landed. Not sure what it was. Oh, there it went. Duck. Damn it. It took off. All right, let's give this a try. Let's see my sweet new cup. Yeah. I had this made on Amazon. This isn't in my shop. Yeah, they only offer a white one. It came out pretty cool. Let me show you. Let me get a little closer. That's it. There's my logo on it. And then on this side, this side just got like a little YouTube logo type thingy. It's not YouTube's actual logo, I don't think. Oh, that's hot. Shoo Mama. Oh. Pretty cool, man. First cup of coffee out of this. Oh, not too bad. Taster's choice, man. What are you, what are you gonna do? Uh, ooh, that's hot. Over there's the fire pit. I'm not gonna make a fire yet because it's still white. What time is it? That's yeah, 20 after five. So we still got a little bit of daylight left yet. Um, I don't know if I want to use that big monstrosity of a fire pit there. I'll show it to you again. I think I showed it in the beginning. It's all, it's all beat up and dented up. And it's in a weird spot. I have a, I have two fire pits with me. Actually, I have three. My wife might be a little upset because I forgot to leave her the one. Hopefully she's not. Anyway, I wanted to buy her a little tabletop one and they didn't have enough. They only had one. So I brought it here with me. Sorry. Yeah, so I might do that. Those are my portable ones I could I could literally put right here, right in front of me. 
So we'll see what I decide to do. I'm not going to use that, that's for sure. I'm just not sure which other one I'm going to use. So we'll break them out a little later and I'll show, I'll show it to you. Depends on this rain. I might have to, I might have to put my, some poles down and put some guy lines on so I can get those rain channels, water drains off of this thing. I just checked the forecast. It's had a steady rain most of the night. I don't think it's all night, but probably gonna rain for a couple hours at least. So, and I got something to cook up for food tonight. We're, we're definitely eating this one. Definitely gonna make some food on this, this uh, little camping trip. That last one, I just wasn't hungry for some reason. Anyhow. I hear constant noise other than the creek. Well, this coffee's not half bad. It could be better though just because it's in this awesome cup. It's probably what it is. All right, everybody. I'll bring you back when I figure out what I'm gonna do and I finish this coffee. All right, everybody, welcome back. We're about to feed the baby girl. It is, I'm on time, it's quarter after six, so we're doing good. I'll give her some of this dry food. Sarah didn't have her breakfast today, so I'm sure she's pretty hungry. All right, and what we got here is turkey, sweet potatoes, brown rice, and spinach. Give her some of this. There she is, there's a baby girl. She's over there chilling out on her wool blanket. It's raining, guys. I don't know what all we're gonna be, I don't know if we're gonna fish tonight. Man, what is with these things lately? But we'll maybe fish in the morning. We're gonna fish. Anyway, let me uh, let me stand over here. There's the baby girl, huh? We'll just give it all to her. She didn't have her breakfast, so. You hungry, sweet pea? Hmm. Hmm. You hungry, baby doll? Oh man, that looks scrumptious. Actually, looks good enough for you to eat, guys. Look at that, man. Mmm, yum, yum. Okay, where can we feed the baby girl? There you go, guys. Big, big bowl of food. Look good, here. Good girl. So, yeah, that's good, huh, baby girl? Yeah, it's raining pretty good, guys. Oh. I almost should have had the canopy again. The other one, I gotta, I gotta watch this because I don't have any poles down because the baby girl, the baby girl keeps wrapping around everything. I gotta make sure this looks like it might be starting to fill with water. Look out, baby. Here, come up here, here. Get up there, baby. Sorry about that. I got Sierra. I'm <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry, sweet pea. <laughs> Whoops. He's such a dick dad. I know, right? Poor baby. I just, just hosed her with some freaking water. Yeah, I'm gonna have to probably get this down. You're okay, baby girl. All right. All right for now. I just want to keep the pole. I want to keep the pole out of this section right here because, you know, this is where we're going to be. So, and she's going to get wrapped all around it if I, if I put that pole down. But I may have to because I got to put a guy line right here to keep this, keep this draining. Yeah, that's bad. Ooh, I just got soaked. You guys watch her for a second. I'm going to, I'm going to try to figure something out. Okay, that's good. That's done, that's done. 
least the ground's nice and soft here. I'm not having a problem getting my stakes in. There's baby girl finishing up, so. Yeah, now I'm wet. Now I'm freaking wet, guys. Oh, a little bit. Yeah, see, that's, that's draining now. I gotta get a towel out. You done, baby? There you go. Finish it up. You got a little bit left. Oh, you got a little bit left. Where's that coming from? Uh, anyway, probably because it was sitting up there. I'll leave this towel out. Yeah, dry you off a little bit, sweet pea. I'm sorry about that, honey. All right, put that there. I think Sierra's basically done with this. You done, baby girl? She ate almost all of it, look. We'll put that there, in case you want the rest. I'll bring it back when I finish putting some of these guy lines out. I don't want this, I, I need this to drain. All right, I'll catch you in a bit. Well, guys, good old Gunner did it again. We're not gonna let it get us down. I'm just getting ready to cook. As you can see, Blackstone's all set up. I had all my other stuff, you know, in here. Opened up the cooler to get the food out. I forgot the meat. I forgot to bring my burgers. Son of a bee. Well, guess we're not cooking. I guess what I'm gonna have is only what I have. Um, I'm gonna have a soft pretzel bun and some deviled, deviled egg macaroni salad. So, all right, sorry about that, but I can't tear everything. I don't wanna tear everything down right now and go run to a store or anything. Um, it's, you know, it's after seven o'clock now, so it is what it is. Anyway, we'll cook on the next one. Sorry, guys. All right, I'll get back to you when I eat my roll and my uh, macaroni salad. All right, I'll catch you then. Good job, baby. Oh. All right, guys, welcome back. Let me move my chair around a little bit. Man, I can't believe I forgot to get the hamburger. All right, anyway, I can't believe we forgot that. So, first thing we're going to do is, uh, well, this is going to be my cheat day. Because, you know, I said a couple videos ago, I was on the carnivore diet. And I cheat now, you know, I'm still drinking some beer here and there. And I have a couple snacks here and there. I eat, I eat a little bit better. For the most part, I'm 99% carnivore. So I got this stuff, it's called Cheat Day. You know, it's called it Befitting. It's a cherry cheesecake salad. I don't know how good it's gonna be, but let's go ahead and crack this open. Cause, yeah, we're gonna have a heck of a sandwich. I think I'm gonna make a sandwich. I mean, it's all right. It doesn't taste like a cheesecake. Anyway, I got some uh, deviled macaroni salad. Deviled egg macaroni salad. Perfect. So, what I'm going to do is make a macaroni salad sandwich. I bet you've never seen anybody do this. I've never done it. I don't know if I'm going to do it, but that's going to be good. <laughs> Absolutely. This is stupid. Unbelievable. All right, anyway, we're going to make the best of it. We got, we got a couple things to do. Food, food's the least of my problems. Ooh. Mm. That was good. You know what? Now we Alright, there you go guys. Look at that. Macaroni salad sandwich. Let's get a bite. Surprisingly good, believe it or not. <clears throat> I 
I gotta get something from my stomach. What I need all day. So this is what we're at, what we got. It's still raining. I think those stops are about, I'm talking about my mouth this way. I think it's going to start raining until about 9 o'clock. And it's going to stop for a couple of hours and then start back up. So I'm good to go. I put a bunch of guy lines out to the floor of greens off of this thing. Really not bad. Mm. This soft touch will all get pretty good. That's what if you guys ever had an egg salad sandwich, it kind of tastes like this what this tastes like. It just tastes like an egg salad sandwich. Good. I had some good hamburgers too. I had like cheese and onion, and they're like Terry Bradshaw burgers. I've never seen them before. Uh, I can only imagine what they would taste like. Uh, yeah, so after I'm done eating, this is probably the Rusty Rail Brewing Company, also. I don't know if you can see that. I come down eating, I'm gonna figure out. I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna do as far as the fire goes. Uh, I'm not using that thing over there. I don't know if you can see it or not. That thing. That thing is a mess. It's filled with a bunch of freaking wet sticks and whatever. This would be a nice site. That's what that guy needs to take care of next. Get a nice, nice fire pit because that's what's up. That's just stupid. This is, this is a really nice campsite. Make a nice fire pit. <clears throat> Get rid of that steel drum, man. You can see that. And just use rocks or just get a, get a nice uh, steel drum. I don't have to turn in. The sun's starting to set, guys. Can't really see it, but I can see the light, the light shooting through here. It's clearing up a little bit. Not too bad the sun's gonna go down. Anyway, I'll bring you back after I'm done eating my macaroni salad sandwich and uh, try to get a fire going then. Alright, I'll catch you guys then. See ya. Bye. GoPro, stop recording. GoPro, stop recording. GoPro, stop recording. Why don't you stop recording? Alright, guys, welcome back. That macaroni salad sandwich was fantastic. Anyway, I got this little seven inch smokeless fire pit. I got some wood pellets in it. What is that noise? Those wood pellets are for smoking though, so this might smoke. But anyway, what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna use some of this uh, fire starter stuff here. Throw it in here, light it up, see what happens. Get back, baby girl. All right. See what happens there. The siren going off. All right. See if that gets going. I don't want to use that crappy fire pit over there. Ugh. This is a Blackstone 7 inch fire pit. 52 degrees out here. It's getting chilly out. I'm not sure if this is going to work. And I'll walk you down here real quick. That tree fell down laying in there.
There's the baby girl. Yeah, uh, I don't know about this. That's like barely even working. This ain't gonna work. Is this even hot? No. Let's get rid of these. These suck. All right, try something else. That's not even, that's not even feasible. All right, guys, I scratched that, that fire pit. Those, those, I think it's the wood chips. They're not the right thing. They're for a smoker. All right, we're gonna light this up. This is my other portable fire pit I have. I didn't show you me putting it together because it's kind of a pain in the butt, but it just clips together and it all, uh, it clips together and when it's off, you take it apart, it all fits into this bag. So it's real compact. We're gonna try to keep this fire a little tame tonight here. Nothing huge. This I don't want to get out of control here. There we go. Yeah, that's a nifty little fire pit for when uh, you're somewhere where you don't have one, or it's or it's a big monstrosity like this. Look at this thing. Look at this thing. I'm not using that. That's that's a nightmare. That's just a mess. I dumped those wood pellets in there though, so there's some free free fuel for the next guy. Anyway, I'm almost done with this. It's all right, but you know, not a huge fan. Sure as heck, don't taste like a cheesecake. I really need to get a fire going because it's getting chilly out. It's starting to get chilly. 51 degrees. Yeah, you know, because I got my sneakers on, I got my boots, but I don't really feel like putting them on. Uh, my feet are getting a little chilly. Hopefully this fire pit works all right. I mean, the fire pit's fine, so. Hopefully there's no issue with the grass around it. It shouldn't be, everything's wet. Oh, that creek is loud. There you go, baby girl. Okay guys, we're gonna have a beer. This is what I've been drinking now instead of the Keystones. It's uh, um, Yingling Flight. It's the lowest carb, best tasting beer I could find. Oh, all right. I put it in my koozie. Oh, it's getting dark now. Do you see a piece of ice? Cheers, everybody. Ah, oh, it's good. Well, that light's bright. Yeah, see, that's a nice little fire pit there. I got that on Amazon. Link's in the description if you want to check it out. Uh, yeah, it's like 40, 50 bucks, somewhere around there. But it folds down flat and, uh, you know, it's cool. You got a fire pit wherever you go. I can feel some of the heat coming off of it now, too. And I'm, I'm four or five feet away. Yeah, I didn't get to do any fishing this afternoon. It was raining the whole time, so... And I didn't, I didn't bring a sinker, so I'm gonna have to use a lure. And this is pretty, pretty fast water. And I haven't fished in, like I said, 20, 25 years, at least. So, we'll try it tomorrow morning, hopefully, if it's not raining. I, even if it is raining, I'm probably gonna try it anyway, just to say I did, you know. But, uh, that's one thing I'm gonna be doing again this year, is looking for more places to where I can fish, too, while I'm camping. You know, and uh, I do know how to fillet a fish. I mean, I mean, I did it a long time ago. Pretty sure I could probably still do it. Do like catch and cook or whatever. I don't know. Oh, we'll get up in the morning. 
and uh, throw something on that this rod I got and uh, toss it in there and see what happens. I think right now me and the baby girl are just going to chill right here by the fire for a little bit. All right, well, good morning, everybody. Yeah, it's morning. We went to bed. It started getting really nasty and rainy and crappy and wet. And uh, this awning really just isn't enough to hang out under. I really should have had the canopy with me again. But anyway, we got to break in the rain, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, make a quick coffee. Or two. Here's the baby girl. I got everything put away. I don't want to get stuck doing this stuff in the rain. But yeah, no, this is a nice spot. It's just, uh, would have been a lot better in some nicer weather, you know what I'm saying? It really, I did look at the forecast. They were calling, they were calling for some rain, but it didn't, it didn't say it was going to rain like it did. So it ended up, we ended up getting a ton of rain. It's just soaked here. Let me get this going. Ooh, mama. I didn't get to do any fishing. I might do some fishing before I leave. I'm not sure. This is really fast moving water. and I don't have any weights or anything. I just got, uh, I got some uh, rooster tails and I got a little bit of trout nuggets. Huh, baby girl? It's ready to go. Making a mess. All right. Yeah, it is. It's early too, man. I've been up since like six o'clock. It's uh, quarter to seven. First taste of coffee in the morning. Okay. It's not boiling. All right, guys. I'm gonna walk you down by the creek, stream, whatever you want to call it. See, I drink in the water. Let's see, my fire pit just ended up going out because of all the rain. This is just, uh, that's why I use my own here because this is just the, this is just a nightmare right here. It's just a soggy, muddy mess. Just, yeah. That's a real, that's a shitty fire pit, man. I mean, it looks like something fell on it. Like somebody dropped it out of an airplane and it landed on that end. Yeah, get something nicer here. Because this, this is a nice camp spot. It should have a nice fire pit. A nice broken tree. We got this sweet little table here, too. Ooh, it's a duck or something. Maybe I got him. I'm not sure. All right. Cheers, everybody. Uh, our coffee's good even though it's instant and I mean this is a nice spot that's a huge huge tree right there check out this tree I mean that thing is just massive the camera's not doing it justice there's the baby girl just sitting there chilling out that bar over there it's like a bar it's like the back end of a boat <laughs> they, somebody cut off and turned into a bar but there's the cemetery, just a small cemetery. I forget how many headstones I counted, but I walked through there when we first got here. Oh no. Already. We're already. Oh, thank God. But I get lucky on that one. Man. 
I'd like to fish over there, but there's not a lot of room. It's really fast moving water, and then there's a down tree right there. Oh, son of Man, I'm getting lucky. Sarah's watching me. Oh my God, Bill. Seriously. That's toast now. I can't believe that. Oh my goodness. I keep tossing it into the freaking tree. You know, cause I'm, I'm no pro. And there's not a lot of, this is tight quarters for a amateur. Oh God, I almost did it again. Oh my God, I did it again. How the hell do I keep hitting that? <laughs> Jesus mighty man. All right, I think I'm gonna move. Move. I'm gonna go take a look over here. Really? Ooh. I'm gonna fall the hell in here. Okay, I got it again. Maybe I should quit while I'm ahead here, guys. What do you think? I got like a caterpillar or something on there. Look at it. Hey, we caught something. We caught a little worm. Check him out. Can you see him? Yeah. Get out of here, buddy. All right, guys. We're going to put this thing away. I gave it to try, you know. We'll see. I'll find some other spots. We'll, we'll, we're probably going to be back here in July. Hopefully, hopefully this gets cleaned up. All right. Let me put this rod away and I'll get back to you. All right, guys, I collapsed the rod down, and this is what it closes up to. Nice and small. Check it out. And then I just have this bag. I stick it in. This actually came with, uh, this bag actually came with my small tripod. I don't use it. So I just stick this rod in here. I got the lure still on there. Just like that. Eh, see, this is what I had. I had some trout nuggets, but we'll, we'll try them some other time. I don't have any sinkers. Got that, and then I just got a little trout pack, a couple, uh, couple different lures in it, rooster tails. Stick it in there. And there you go, nice little bag. This is nice and easy to keep in a truck. This I could even fit in my drawer. That's awesome. All right, let me get some of this stuff put away here. I'll get back to you guys in a bit. GoPro, stop recording. All right, everybody, that's it. We're done, we're all packed up, and we are out of here, and we will see you on the next one. Bye.